Florida Area Historical Society is restoring a small plot of land, one with historical significance that's been largely forgotten for decades. Well, for the volunteers, it's about more than preserving what was. It's actually righting a past mistake. Madeline O'Neill joins us with details on the project. Maddie? If you're ever in Verona, you likely drive by a rectangular strip of grassland between Gus's Diner and the Festival Foods being built without recognizing what it is. The Historical Society is changing that. This is kind of a chance to right a wrong. Tucked into a modern day scene, you'll find an old place meant for remembrance. It's something to be preserved. Being lost in the weeds. As human beings, your final resting place should be a place that's respected. This is a cemetery where about 440 people, many who resided in the old poor house and Dane County Asylum, are laid to rest away from their families. One was pearly blue. Longtime Verona resident John Scher remembers the stones here. We brought some flowers out. And some the stones represent from when they'd visit his parents' restaurant. Another was Jake, another was Hub. It's very important that they are not forgotten. The stones were here starting in the 1880s until around the 1950s. Whoever removed all these stones didn't, I don't think they realized the full gravity of what they were doing. And it was kind of one of those long local history mysteries. Where did all the stones go and why? Verona Area Historical Society President Jesse Charles says a part of the puzzle was found built into a Verona residence patio. When these stones were piled up and thrown away, he took about 80 of them and built a patio. Now they're putting the discovered pieces back together. Well, thank you again, everyone, for coming. The stones themselves don't give much of a clue. Instead of names, they just have numbers. 107 here. This, I can tell you who this is. But records provide a road map. 107 is John Kraft. As volunteers restore the cemetery as accurately as possible. I think this one's good. It just feels really good to be putting it back where it belongs. So I always like to know the name of the person. This is Marg Rasmussen. It's more than bringing the stones home. Thanks, guys. It's setting things right. It does make a big difference, I think. Last Saturday was the crew's fourth dig day as they worked to put back the nearly 80 discovered gravestones. As part of their bringing their stones home project, they're raising money for a plaque that will have everyone's name on it. That is a pretty neat little uh, tribute to history there. A lot yeah. of hard work and some hot weather as yeah. well. And you would almost never know it's there. Yeah. Maddie, thank you. Very thank interesting. You.